Hey guys, how's it going?、Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about what Japanese gymnastics training looks like. So, a couple days ago, my Japanese friend asked me, Hey Shun, like, what、uh, Canadian training looks like? Something like that? Then I explained to her. Then it reminds me, yeah, actually, when I came to Canada, I was so shocked because, you know, different culture, different training style that was totally different from what I used to do in Japan. So, in this video, I want to introduce some、uh, Japanese training style or like weird stuff. I still think that's weird, something like that. So, I want to share about this with you guys. So, maybe I'm going to talk about around three things. One is like training time, second is like, like equipment, and third one is like the weird traditional stuff. From my high school or、uh, university. The first one is like training time.、Uh, in Canada, right now, like my gymnast train around 20 hours a week. Also, like the high level gymnasts, they also train around 20 to 25 hours a week. Maybe really top gymnasts, they train 30 hours a week, something like that. But when I was in Japan, when I was an elementary school student, I trained 30 hours. A week, maybe five training days a week, something like that. Then, when I became elementary,、uh, middle school student, when I became middle school student, I train around 30 to 35 hours training hours a week,、uh, six training days a week. Then, when I was high school student, around 40 to 45 training hours,、uh, six training days a week. So, we train a lot. Like, it's,、uh, it was not special. Everybody trains like, pretty much like this, I feel. Like, we train a lot. We spend so much effort on、uh, training gymnastics. Not even just gymnastics, so many other sports. Even like, people who don't、uh, do sports stuff, they go to second school. They, Study like pretty much five days, six days a week, something like that. So I feel like that's really、uh, different between Japan and North American culture stuff. So this is the、uh, first one. I think so many people already knew about this. The second one is like we respect equipment a lot. So this is a good example like when we start training. At the event, let's say, like, okay, we are gonna start floor. We line up on the floor, then we bow to floor, then we are gonna say,、uh, we are gonna start floor. Onegai shimas, something like that. Onegai shimas means like something, please. Like, the onegai shimas has so many meanings, but I think in this situation, we are saying, like, okay, we are gonna do floor.、Uh, Please let us train very well. We are saying that kind of stuff to equipment. So we do this like every, every single time when we start training on events, floor, p o m e n h o u s e like whichever. Also, like when we finish, like we line up again. Then we say, like,、uh, we are gonna finish floor.、Uh, Arigato o z a i m a s h i t a That means, like,、uh, thank you very much. So that's why, like, when gymnasts punch or kick equipment, we are really strict. Like, if we do it, that means, like, okay, you have to get out of this gym. You cannot train anymore, something like that. I never done it, but some of my friends h a s done t h e n they couldn't train for a while. So you will get really big trouble. If you punch equipment in Japan for sure. So don't do it, respect、uh, equipment in Japan.、Uh, third one is like really funny culture stuff or like traditional stuff from my high school or university. So the first one is like、uh, we have to say gamba. Gamba is like something come on or let's go, something cheering up. So I understand if you know, my friend is doing high bar, try to do routine, we say gamba. We do it, but usually in Japan we follow、like、age a lot. If 
you are like the youngest age in high school, you have to do so much stuff. And usually, we cannot, uh, we have to obey other people. So, when I was in Japan, like first grade in high school and first grade in university, we had to say gamba, like during the training for five hours, six hours without stopping. Just try to, I think we try to, you know, make cheering up or like loud, lively, something like that. But we have to, you know, keep saying gamba, gamba, gamba. Even like nobody was doing, you know, anything. Like they are like taking a rest, nobody was taking a turn, but we have to keep yelling gamba, gamba, something like that. And if we don't say, we get big. Uh, yeah, we get big trouble again. It's like usually coach or uh, other gymnast, they like, hey, why don't you say gamba? Or like, you are saying gamba too, you know. Small, like you have to loud or scream, you have to say much louder gamba, something like that. We get trouble by not saying gamba. So still now I'm pretty curious about why we did that. My guess is like just try to make you know everybody together while we're just I feel that was pretty weird and interesting to do. And also the traditional stuff I have a really funny story from the high school high school gymnastics training. And like whenever a guest comes to our gym we have to serve slippers to them. But we don't know when guest comes, then most time guests, like we don't know that guest or no, we don't recognize. Because most time like the guests, usually they are like people who used to train at the gym. So they are like 30 years old, 40 years old, we never met them. So as soon as people who came, in, came into the gym, we had to guess, or oh, the guy must be guessed, or just nothing, something like that. Then, as soon as that happens, the youngest gymnast in high school, we had to run to get slippers, then serve to the guest. If we are too late to do this, or we couldn't make it, like we couldn't do it, then usually coach get really mad at us like right away the coach yelled at us so this is like really important mission for us but pretty often like we don't know like how often guests come but usually slipper is like uh, in the shelf or something but as you guys know like we use chalk a lot usually like the slippers are covered by chalk but as soon as guest comes, we have to run to get the slipper, then start it. Then most time like the we when we get slippers, we recognize oh this is dirty. However, like if we don't hurry up, we will get trouble. But if we stop this right away, then we get trouble as well. So it's like the give that gave this you know traditional stuff gave our old friend like trouble like we got so many that was really tough and that was really stupid for me i don't like i really feel like so many japanese stuff it's weird for me but now if i remember that's really funny so i want to share about this with you guys if you guys like this just maybe let me know like this is like really a uh, part of you know Japanese weird training if you guys have more question or like something like that please uh, comment uh, ask me also like if your country has like something weird traditional stuff please let me know I love to hear that kind of uh, fun story or like different culture stuff in gymnastics yeah so now we have this kind of corner situation, but I believe like, you know, now is the best time to build our basic 
Uh, once we get to go back to gym, we can start training strong. So yeah, let's keep it up. Uh, we can get stronger in this situation. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you.